something can often be an important life experience. Okay. You can almost always get another chance, another shot, another opportunity. It's how we learn as children and even adults. But sometimes you only get one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. And okay. failing at your life's greatest ambition can be more than just devastating. It can define the rest of your career, your emotions, yep. and your life entirely. Watching one clip inspired this whole video and these thoughts that I've been reflecting on. The clip is from a streamer, I'm, I'm a guy named Redful which is a name I know all too well since he started yep. out as a pro player in the World of Warcraft arena scene. Yep. Now that might sound very niche and obscure to most people, but back in the day, it was a pretty popular That was a big sport. fucking Nowadays deal. though, he's a hugely successful and popular streamer. Very having true. played all sorts of games and having a map a large audience over the course of many years. Now, yep. for more context and backstory, I've linked the full video in the description, but for the sake of brevity, I'm going to keep it short. Wreckful was one of the best players in North America during the prime of WoW Arena as an esport, and his team was the top team by far. Literal but as God. you'll hear him explain, things didn't quite work out the way he expected, or maybe even deserved them to. Here I am, I, all I want to do is win BlizzCon, and we qualified, we got the top eight, and then I was like, okay, let's fucking go to the tournament. And then they didn't want to go, Benny's didn't want to go because he was fat, and Chris Litter was pretty shy. All I want to do is win this thing, BlizzCon. Wow. Like, shit, who's not in the tournament is, who's good? I'm like, oh shit, they're ranked two team. I'll play with Venom and Gravemind. All I want to do is win BlizzCon. I'm already going with my, not my teammates, I left my team, I actually cared about titles at the time. I left my rank one team, not going to get a title, to practice with these guys, that I don't even know where I've played with. Toast, Nuts, and Pooks, they're really good players, but I could beat them, I beat them on ladder every time, right? So I could always beat their comp. And all I wanna do is play against them, but some fucking how, they beat Talbadar, Azale, and Sidhu. I don't know how the fuck Talbot, Azale, and Sidhu lost that fucking first time, it pissed me off. And then I had, I had to play against Talbadar, the one team I couldn't beat, in the fucking whole you tournament, got. and I just have to get top two. And then of course I fucking lose, and then I'm knocked out, and I don't get to go to BlizzCon, which okay. is all I wanted to do, and this is at my absolute peak when I'm really good. Think about how shitty that story is. And then, Talbador went on to beat Tolos' team cuffed. that I could beat. Yeah, there it Six, is. Six-zero. It was two series, they had to win two series. What? And if they just beat him the first time, the I would get to go to BlizzCon. It was really sad. I wanted to win so bad. I didn't even know I had emotions to this. You could still That's go crazy. if you played WoW. It's not the same. It'll never be the same again. <sighs> all right. I'm all right. I know you guys are like, yeah, fucking go back or whatever. It's not the same, you know. Go again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Now, to most people, at first glance, this seems totally absurd. Why is a grown man, a successful streamer, crying about losing in a video game it fucking almost matters. a decade ago? I can see why most people would think that, but to me, I completely understand. That's right. In fact, it was hard for me to even finish watching this clip because I felt the emotion he was conveying here so strongly and so personally. You see, it's not about just being a game or just losing. It's about missing the chance to succeed in something that he spent thousands and thousands of hours playing. A game, yes, but a game that he was good at, that he was known for, that he made the central focus oh of God, his entire dude, life. That was so for long ago. Failing what the fuck at that is this? during the peak of his career in the game, and due to circumstances that were out of his control, that is something that you can't easily get over. So much so that even now, almost 10 years later, after all the success wow. he's gotten, all the money he's made, and all the games he's played, that loss still eats away at his core. And he's right, going back and playing the game now, it wouldn't be the same at all. 
I'll never have the experience that I had in Classic again. It doesn't matter what happens if they bring out Classic WoW again. Even if they bring out another game that's better than Classic WoW, it'll never be the same as the first time. Perhaps the reason I felt so strongly about this and wow. so connected to it is because okay. I've experienced it on my own personal level. Before I had 200k subs, before I made any serious videos, I too was focused on being the best. Growing up, yep. I was always trying to be good at something, whether it was soccer or video games. I was introduced to many, including Smash Brothers and World of Warcraft by my yep. oldest brother. During 2012, I came back to WoW and I was inspired as many players were by Wreckful's amazing arena videos. His videos to this day are still really have fucking the most good, views dude. by far of any WoW arena videos. Five million for views. for good reason, they showed off his impressive what skills, his fuck? unique strategies, and That's did insane. it all with a cool, slick soundtrack. I didn't even realize it was that much. Nice editing that put it all together. If oh you take God. a quick look at my back catalog of videos, it will tell you a story of Six my progression blows. in WoW. Slowly, over the years, and after the yes, countless dude. hours I spent streaming and playing World of Warcraft, something weird happened. Something that didn't happen with the other games I played growing up. I was always average in those games. Maybe slightly better than some local friends. But when it came to World of Warcraft, things were different. I started to get good. Like, really good. Oh my there it is, dude. Oh yup. Talked him into it. Got it. Nice. I know, I don't know. Got it, got it, kill the fuck. This is a good video, I like this. How do we win? <laughs> G Lynx, Cotter Peak, and G Lynx. Oh boy. Oh, oh, kick Tally, kick Tally, kick Tally, kill the city. Now, 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 now. Yes, dude. We've, this is two and a half minutes of watching a dinosaur attack 80s. He's got an offensive gate going in now at this point. What's his dinosaur's name? Life finds way. <laughs> and life finds way just going crazy on it. With Arena, I made a name for myself, playing the Whoa. ladder and occasionally entering tournaments. I even got rank one, the highest possible achievement in PvP in multiple seasons. Which yep. means I was pretty fucking good. <clears throat> Okay, I uh, might have gotten a little carried away there with the Blinks montage, was a great but player. WoW Arena was my life for a time a too. I too had you? aspirations to compete oh my at God. BlizzCon and maybe even last win. Year. But as time was passed there. and as the game changed, I lost interest. I lost my desire to be the best and I gave up on that dream. I can't say that I ever got as close as Wreckful did, but I can relate to his feelings nonetheless. Many people hold on to regrets and the idea of what could have been, the unfulfilled potential that they feel they never fully lived up to. Back in 82, I used to be able to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. <laughs> How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains? Please show That's a great where, movie. Dude, where he, show, where he throws it at Napoleon's face? We'd have been state champions. Holy no fuck, dude. That was so good. No doubt in my mind. You better believe things have been different. I'd have gone pro. Heartbeat. I'd be making millions of dollars and living in a big old mansion somewhere. I was soaking it up in a hot tub with my soul. Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite represents someone who's stuck in the past. A man who's never moved movie, on man. from his glory days as a high school football player. Yes. Instead, he's now a broken middle-aged man with no real aspirations. A man defined <laughs> yeah, by his like, past failure in many ways. It's like every classic player. The situation player. is not too yeah. uncommon either. Most people have to come to terms with the failure of a dream at some point in their life. Oh, I've seen you that again. so funny. a pass at the goal line when you have Marshawn Lynch. One of the most well-known and successful chefs in the world wow. today is okay. Gordon Ramsay. He has been awarded multiple Michelin stars, the highest honor a chef can receive, as well as having had numerous hit TV shows. But what most yep. people don't know is that before ever stepping foot in the kitchen, Gordon Ramsay was set to become a soccer pro in his teenage what? years. That was his first dream. Wait, what the fuck? As a boy, I dreamt of playing professional football for my favorite local team. What the fuck? Glasgow There's Rangers. no way. Really? My dream came true when I was spotted by a scout in the mid 80s and I joined the youth team here at Ibrox. Oh my god! In the soccer? I've got so many great memories. I got released on the back of an injury. Yeah, he's talking um, about soccer. I my cartilage and then they said they'd keep an eye on me, but that's just a polite fuck off, really, that's all. Damn. Do you know what? Any form of pain that I experienced here was eradicated when I won my third Michigan star. 
and had I not had the upset in football here with Ibrox, I don't think I'd be the chef I am today. I'm sure the physical pain Ramsey felt from his injuries was excruciating, but I'll bet the mental and emotional pain he experienced Ooh. while having to sit on the sidelines watching his team play, knowing full well that he no longer had a future in football, yep. was far worse than the physical pain. However, what separates someone like Gordon Ramsay from the Uncle Ricos of the world isn't whether or not he failed, but rather how he chose to live his life after failing. Gordon could have easily given up on himself after losing the chance to play the sport he was talented at. He could have lived the rest of his life in regret of those he injuries that like were the, out of his control. But something. instead, wow. he chose to carve a new path, an entirely new and separate walk of life. And as he said, Why is he once messy? He it looks pretty clean to Michelin me. Star, all the pain he felt on the field as a player was gone. His career as a chef served as a path forward for the burning desire and drive he always had within himself. In many ways, the success he achieved as a chef was much more fulfilling than any athletic career could have been. Someone like Reckful is at a crossroads, a point in their life where they can either become an Uncle Rico or a Gordon Ramsay. Reckful has Whoa. found success in so many other games and platforms, what the fuck? and hopefully his ambitions will continue to push him Whoa. forward in life. He's even working on developing wow. a game right now, for example. That's on true. one hand, you can give up on the rest of your ambitions oh and God. aspirations, and instead focus on what should have been or what could have been, what you deserve, what you were dreaming about, and why it failed. It's not just that these people have failed, though. It's that they failed and that they're afraid of failing again, so they never try again. But there is another option available. You can pick yourself back up, decide that you're going to try something else, maybe something completely new, something risky, and try your best to okay. live out your potential on a fulfilling life journey okay. in a new direction. Whether it's professional gaming, sports, a dream career, an untapped passion for art, or any ambitious goal, there's Jackson always a Pollock, dream that people keep hidden inside of them. Michael Jordan? Whether you're a Wreckful, a Rico, or a Ramsey, failure doesn't have to define you. You can't go back and relive your mistakes, redo your failures. It's not the same. It never will be the same. Time passes and life goes on. So find a new path, a new purpose, a reason to go on and live your life to its full potential, no matter how unfair your past may have been. And who knows, maybe one day, just like Ramsey, you'll look back and realize that the pain of your failures no longer has the same sting due to the success of living up to your full potential. Or you'll end up like Uncle Rico. Kill this idiot. Peace, nerd. Get the fuck out of my arena, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Just take me on that long I'm sure you're never thinking of me. I'm 18 hours a day in hopes of winning Boy Scott. He's gonna get that 15k payout. Just give me back. Wow. Give this a like, boys. Glink makes Glink makes some of the most thoughtful and well constructed videos on YouTube. True. And uh, I, I think he deserves more recognition for that. True. Uh, yeah. Don't say no, smiley face. You fucking obnoxious, pimply face, piece of shit loser that's never done anything productive in your whole life. Go give him a fucking like. Okay. Give him a fucking like, cause he wants it. He needs it. Okay. Because you're not going to do anything else that's important today, and you fucking know it. You're watching the Asmongold stream with me clearing LFR. You have nothing better to do. So shut the fuck up and give it a like. Let me see here. Let me refresh it. We've got 600. Failing at something. 900. Good fucking start, okay? Keep going. Like, this is like, I... I... Man, like, I... What did you think of the video, man? Like, did you like it? I or? mean, I yeah, I, I I did like it. I just don't. 
I don't know. It, it just like Reckville's a really, you know, he's a very intelligent person. I, I feel like if he just got back into WoW, you know, granted WoW is, is trash, but if WoW was good and he got back into it and he wanted to go to BlizzCon, I'm sure he could. Like, he's, he's a good enough player. So I don't really... I understand that, you know, in the past he misses opportunity, but I don't think that prevents him from getting a new one. Can I get the shield and the gloves? Guys, can I get the shield and the gloves? Uh, cause they dropped. Can I get the shield and the gloves if nobody needs it? Can I get the shield and the gloves? I, I agree with you. But here's what's changed. Everything. Everything has changed. Like, I, I, I mean, there it is. Like, and it sucks. But he's in a completely different point in his life. He's a completely different person. Even if he goes back and he wins BlizzCon, it won't matter. Like, it, 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 it's, it's, it's over. Like, that's it. Like, you get one shot to do something like that. And if you miss it, then you can't always just recapture that by going back and doing it later. Like, it, it, I, I feel like it's a time-sensitive thing. Uh, do you see what I'm saying? I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely feel that way. 